We've asked Sam to come and sit for her portrait using a photographic technique which dates back to the birth of photography and also to talk about the objects in her life that really mean the most to her. I've got a couple of favourite cameras. I'd say this is pretty much my favourite that I like to have with me most of the time. And I have to try and keep it with me so I don't use my iPhone. I like to still stick with film so that some of the mistakes that I make aren't just sort of whitewashed by digital life. I brought this postcard, which is Francis Bacon in Primrose Hill. It's where I go, think, breathe, it's where I live, it's where I walk every day practically. And it's great just to see it in the 60s and that nothing's changed. This revolting piece of Murano glass <laughs> is about the most hideous object ever, but this makes me laugh every time I see it. Two of my closest friends, Bailey and Johnny, have both got clown phobias and they gave me this for my birthday and on their birthdays I try and find one even more hideous than this one to give to each of them. It's a sort of stupid running joke but um, it sits on my shelf and makes me think of them and makes me laugh most days. <laughs> I feel that a good portrait really tells you a little something about the person that you're looking at, just even if it's very slight, just in a look or a sense of personality or a sense of something that you might not have noticed before. This is my kiss me quick hat. Um, this was from uh, the film that I made, Nowhere Boy. I didn't really keep much paraphernalia from the film, but I kept this because it was just it was such a great day and everything was going well and this sort of seemed to signify quite a lot of things um, that were part of the film. Yeah, it just brings back good memories. That's a good object. And also, yeah, just the only thing that I kept. Aaron gave me this necklace and it has his mother's ring from when she was a little girl with her initials on it. His father's wedding ring. And then also I've put on it um, a little locket that has a picture of two of my three girls. Just to punk it up slightly, a couple of gold safety pins. But yeah, lots of very personal little things on there that I tend to wear most days. These photographs feel you know, very painterly and they just feel very sort of beautiful and that you're looking at portraiture in a completely different way. It has that stillness to them, a quality that I think is quite hard to find in a lot of photography. I've got quite a few Warhol books. This one's pretty precious, I mean, that's how much I've looked at it, it's in a pretty bad state of repair. He's definitely an inspiration in my film work more than anything else. Just his uh, ability to kind of just break rules and do anything. And then, same era. As a graphic, I think that's probably one of the best covers ever. and inside some of the best music ever. Aaron gave me um, one of those old 50s dance set record players, so um, that goes on it quite often, so that's quite good fun. The technique of it I love because it's so sort of painstaking and slow and it's such a nice process to go through. Just 
you know, that it takes all day to get two pictures and we have to be really patient. I think that's a good test.